Okay, for the little extra pockets in the book, we take three more bags and we're going to trim each one down from the fold, from the uh, sealed in, three inches wide. And then again, we're going to fold on the seam line, the already made seam line there, and get us a half inch hinge. So we do two this way, and one where we fold the hinge, but we also fold the pocket in half. This is going to be a special decorative pocket that we're making this way. So we fold it like that. And then I want you to take score tape or miracle tape and we're going to seal this little fold up. We're making an extra thick little pocket here. Oh, probably about, maybe let's go ahead and do three. You could also glue it. I'm just going to go ahead and use tape on this one. So I think glue might make it wrinkled. I'm not sure. But I don't want to take a chance, so we're going to do that. Go ahead and peel that backing off. And stick these together down to the hinge line. Let's go ahead and Flatten that out like that. Now these will be covered by paper. So you're also going to have to seal this on the inside here. So I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. Okay, just glue that down. This will be the side that goes to the inside. So now we're going to take our score tape <clears throat> and put a hinge on just the one side. Like that. The glued part is the wrinkly part is on the inside like that. Hey everyone, this is Sandy with Sandy's Crafty Creations and today I want to share with you a little mini album that I made. The pages are made with this Pebbles pack of printed bags. These are the candy cane uh, print and that's what I use for the pages. I use the Pebbles paper which is Home for Christmas, the Pebbles Home for Christmas papers. Uh, bought an assortment of those. I used chipboard for the cover and the spine. And for embellishments, I used the sticker pack from Pebbles. They're uh, icons and phrases stickers. And I used, as you can see, I used most of the stickers on the project. And then I also used <clears throat> some things from my stash. So let me show you this real quick. First of all, this is the cover so that you can look at that. This is a button. <clears throat> the tags are from the papers. And the sticker is from Michael's. It's a glitter snowflake. And then I used my tag machine to make the label here, Christmas 2014. On the spine I have an ornament that I bought, a pack of uh, ornament tags, snowflakes from Walmart. This is a metal tree from my stash. And this clock charm is from the Bow Bunny buttons pack from the mistletoe uh, mistletoe buttons pack that I purchased and then I used red and white twine and let me share the dimensions of this album it is six and a half by five and a half and the spine is two and three quarters wide so it's a nice 
nice little album where you can put embellishments and photos in. So let's start looking at the inside. Um, when you open this up, and this the little gingerbread house is fussy cut out of the uh, pebbles paper. And this is a button from the, I think I said from the Bow Bunnies uh, button pack. So inside, I papered the inside cover. And then I inserted, uh, attached a pebbles tag from a pack of uh, pebbles, uh, little tags. And then I cut a tag, some red cardstock, and then used a stamp from Judas Stamps that does the, the lines. And I trimmed them down to fit. So that just slides in this little pocket here on the inside cover, right there. And then the first page. And this is another stamps from uh, Stamps by Judith. It's a really cool place photo here stamp that I got just a few days ago and I used it in this album. So I have a photo mat here on this page where the little snowman in the jar is not fully attached so that you can actually slide the photo under there. And then I have a tag inside. As you see here, this is the paper bag that makes the page. And I have a tag for photos here with one of the buttons from the Bow Bunny pack. And then it's they're glued on so that you can slip this over and it keeps it all from uh, sliding all the way down. The next page, I use stickers. And we have a photo mat here. And then I made a pocket here on this page by folding it and punching through the holes in it and adding these um, rivets and then tie the twine through it. So I liked how that one turned out. Uh, this tag comes out like this. Place for photo here. Then we have a tag in the end. that slides in and out. And I did reinforce this one on the inside with some cardstock because of this pocket. So I needed to reinforce that a little bit on that one. So that one's made a little bit different on that page. And we turn it. Got hung on a paper clip. For this next pocket, well, it actually is just a belly band where I put the joy stickers and tie this charm from the Bow Bunny buttons. And this pulls out. And this is attached to the little booklet with a Christmas tree paper clip that I had in my stash. This opens up. You place a photo here. And this is just a, a, attached with some twine. And it opens up and it makes a really cute little booklet. Zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Some little booklets. So that just slides underneath the belly band. And the paper clip kind of helps hold it there. Here's a pocket here that's a flip up pocket that I made by attaching, uh, cutting the bag down and attaching it in between the gussets here. Added stickers on both sides. And this little tag just slips in and out of this pocket here in the center. Then I have another photo mat here on this page. But this tag slides out also. And you flip that. And then I made a pocket with stickers by attaching them to cardstock and then gluing them just on the edges. This is a Dear Santa note card and a place for two photos here behind the Christmas tree, behind the trees. And on this pocket, this is another pocket that flips up, so I use stickers on it. This paper clip holds this little tag in which has a place for journaling, some stickers, a photo place on the back, and then this tag has a place for a photo. So I'm going to slip this one back into the pocket. This is another pocket of a bag that I cut down and attached in between the pages. And this just goes, slides in here right there with it. And another place for journaling here with the Christmas stockings. This is another belly band with the place card holder here at the bottom. And these photo mats are held in with a paper clip tree. And if you undo that, then you have these two photo mats, front and back, with the little tabs on the top. So I'll just slip this on there. And then slide that behind the belly band. And the place cord holder keeps them from sliding out the bottom. And I just like the paper clip because it makes it look cute. 
another tag here for photos front and back with that open and on the last page I did a banner flag with one of the bow bunny buttons another photo mat here and it's left open again so you can slide the photo under and on the inside cover I put one of the stick uh, snowflake stickers again and made a pocket out of we wish you a merry christmas and inserted a little tag there on the top and then on the back I put a tag that says this is an original creation and then signed my name and that's the little Pebbles Christmas album from the Home for Christmas Paper Collection. And that's my little album. Thank you for watching. Happy Holidays.